Hey everyone, thanks for joining Learn to Play Games. My name is Lance, and today I'll be teaching you how to play the solo rules for Mystic Veil's latest expansion, Nemesis. I'm also going to play through the rest of the game to see if I'm able to defeat the Nemesis or if he is going to mop the floor with me. So in this video, I'm not going to teach you the main rules to the game. If you need to know how to play the original Mystic Veil, I'll link up in the top corner to that video so you can check that out. Now this is also not a standalone expansion. You will need the core game for this. Although there only is a couple things that are needed, so it would have actually been kind of neat for them to include everything in this one to kind of get people into it, especially solo players that might not be interested in the other things. Now, this expansion will work with any of the other expansions. It does recommend that you use leaders, but you don't have to. It just makes it a little bit more challenging. So Mystic Veil vale for me, this is a game that I've really enjoyed over the years and was really excited when they finally announced that they were going to do a solo mode with this one as it's one that I enjoy playing. I love the card crafting elements to this one. I, I would love to see them use this in other games as well. I think it's a really unique thing that could be used in a number of different types of genres that could potentially work really well and I would love to see some of that but that's neither here nor there. So, like I said, this is one that I've been really excited about. I ended up getting this game as a Christmas present and dove right into it right away. As again, I, I enjoy these kind of games and I like playing solo games sometimes. And it's just a fun way to really kind of test your skills with some of this stuff. And this one, I feel, does a, does a really good job of that. So, that being said, if you enjoy the video, if you like what I do, please consider that like button, subscribe to my channel. It's one of the easiest ways you can support channels like mine so we can continue to grow and produce this content. If you want to stay updated on all my videos, also considering that bell, soon we'll get notifications anytime I release new stuff. I also do want to apologize. I am fighting some sort of a sinus infection, so I probably sound a lot more nasally than I, I usually do. I do apologize for that, and hopefully it won't be too distracting. From there, let's go ahead and move into the video itself. So first off, I want to go over the things that are going to change with the Nemesis expansion. So first off, obviously, you're going to have Nemesis cards. And with these cards, they're going to have a rating up in the top corner from 1 all the way up to 4. So 1 being the easiest and 4 being the most difficult. Then the Nemesis, some of them will also have a, another ability at the bottom of the card. And this is sometimes going to be also accompanied by a hourglass with a number on it. That is going to be the round that this ability will be activated in. So with this particular guy with the soul bane, he has an ability that will be triggered on round 10 and after. So anytime during round 10 or after that he comes out, we're going to have to resolve this effect as well. Up until that point, it's simply treated as if it was not there. The other thing with this video or the playthrough, I'm going to be using all of these stuff solely from the Nemesis expansion. So the Veil cards, all the advancement cards, all of those, the uh, um, curse tokens and all that are from the Nemesis expansion. The only things that I'm going to be using from the core game are the victory points, the one deck, you need one deck of cards of any color of your choice, and then you also need the fertile soil cards and one of your mana tokens so other than that everything else is going to be included in this expansion so you can play this as as its own or you can again mix and match it with other expansions the other big thing you're going to notice is the board itself so this is the nemesis board this is what's going to control how that works and this is this board is double-sided with an easy start or an easy side and a standard side so depending again on the difficulty you want you're going to select that. Each round, this token is going to move along the board and stop on a space. And based on the space that it stops at, it's going to tell you what to do with a lot of these spaces claiming either an advancement or a veil card, as well as as you get farther down, they're also going to gain victory points. So it's going to ramp up as you work your way through with some of them even gaining one of each of the three different things, veil cards, advancements, and victory points. So the longer the game goes on the higher the chance that you're probably not going to win it so that is also an important thing at least from my experience and so far all i've played is the easy stuff i haven't really gotten into a lot of the more challenging stuff so it'll be really interesting to see how that works other than that, the only other thing which I I have not w gone into detail about all the other expansions with Mystic Veil, vale, this is the first one that I've noticed with this, that there are advancements that are level four in this, and they're going to have little the four star or four squares on them to indicate that. This deck is going to be mixed in with your level three advancements, and anytime you draw one of these from the deck, it'll be placed off to the side of the set and those can be purchased on their own they are not going to be refilled so if one goes away then 
you don't refill it. And only the time that it's going to be refilled or added to is when they come out for a level three advancement and you'll shift them over. And those, they're, they're really powerful, but they are really expensive. And there's one in there that's 60 points. And I would love if anybody has actually been able to pull that off. I don't know how you were able to do it, but let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear that story because it has got to be a good one. That is a so expensive a card. You have 20 cards in your deck and statistically speaking, you would need almost, well, at least three points on every card, if not more on some, balancing it out to even achieve that and then being able to play that entire deck. That is, that has got to be a long game. So if you were able to pull that off, let me know. I would love to hear that story. Other than that, that pretty much covers everything. The game itself is pretty much played the same way. The only difference is during the prep phase, uh, after you prep your, your deck or your field, then you're going to advance the marker one space on the Nemesis track and handle that effect. Any cards that you gain from the Nemesis are going to go in his uh, special pile, and then you're going to refill that wherever he took it from, so you're always going to have that selection. So from there, then, uh, again, I, it is recommended that you use leader cards, whether it's from this expansion or other expansions that they've been included in. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to randomly take two of them. So let's see here. I'll take this one and let's do this one here. Okay, so I have the Spore Bloom Titan or the Oaken Stride Titan. So with the, the Spore Bloom, this one is going to give me a lot of extra resources for getting veil cards so that might be handy it also is a minus one to curse or gives me a curse every time he comes up so that's a, a penalty on that one where the oak stride he gives me a tree so i can negate a cursed land on top of the fact that he can cancel a curse all the curses on one card in my field so that's pretty good as well i think i'm going to try him so then the other Titan that I did not use our other leader will be discarded off to the side and those can be returned to the box. Uh, other than that, then we'll go ahead and sleeve these. So with the Nemesis, he is going to go into one of your cursed lands. So I think I'll put him on one of these top ones here. And then the Titan will go into one of your blank cards. So let's choose one of those. I'll put him here. Okay, and then from there we're going to go ahead and shuffle these up, and then we can start. Other than that, uh, for setup, I guess the only other things to point out for setup is that you would count out 23 victory tokens and 12 level 1 advancements from whatever selection you choose from. Other than that, everything else is pretty much the same. You shuffle up the advancements, placing three out. Level four advancements get placed off to the side. You have your fertile soils, your veils one and two, any other tokens you need from any other expansions you want, and then we're ready to go. So, oop, let's go ahead and one more good shuffle here. All right. So let's start it off and see how we do here. Uh, it's a blink, another blink, fertile soil, my first cursed lands, second and third. Okay, so at this point I have three. I'll have to move over to my nemesis, so he's gonna move into his first section, so it's gonna have him take the level one advancement on the far side here, so this will be added to his area. And then we'll immediately add a new one in there. All right. And then we'll move into my phase. So I, I can push my luck. Uh, but right now with three, that's pretty decent. And I have a card out that I, I think I want to get. Uh, although both of these are, are pretty good cards. I think I'm going to go with this one and not push my luck just yet. So I'm going to add that into one of my blank cards. And that will finish my turn. And we'll restock. Oh, another good one. And then we'll set our field again, or my fields. So I've got one. All right. So now my Titan comes out. He cancels out the cursed land on the other one. So now I'm back down to zero. There's one. Lots of, lots of blank cards. There's a fertile soil. There's two. And the third. 
Okay, so that's really good. And then we'll go ahead and take care of our nemesis. He's going to take this middle card down here. And then we'll refill. Now it goes into my turn. I have one, two, three, four for purchasing power. So I have a couple of different options here. Ooh, um, that's a really good card as well. So I think I'm going to go with that one. I think I'll pick up that one. Now, the other thing I do want to point out, depending upon how you want to play the game, if this is your first couple games and that you want to, and you don't want it too much of a challenge, I would also recommend looking at the Nemesis board and kind of planning ahead because obviously you're going to be able to see what kind of actions the Nemesis is going to take, which cards are going to, to take. So you can kind of determine, you know, if you have to buy a particular card that you really, really want now, or if you can wait a couple rounds or whatnot. And then as you, you know, want to get into a harder game, then I'd probably just focus on what that turn is for the Nemesis and try to keep it as, as hidden as possible so that uh, it just adds a little bit more challenge to things. All right, so that takes care of the purchase. I sleeved, and we'll go ahead and start a new one here. All right, the Nemesis comes out, so he counts as one as well. So I'm up to two already. There's my third one. And then I'll go ahead and advance him. So he's going to take this card here. Ah, that's a good card. And then we'll refill. And then from there... I think I'm going to push my luck this turn. Let me take a look and see what I have so far. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them. So odds are fairly high, but I'm going to try it. I only have one, so I can't buy anything anyways. So even if I bust, it's not going to hurt me that bad. So I'm going to push. And I have a fertile soil. So I'm up to two, so I could get a fertile soil at least. As that last card, I believe, is going to be a Cursed Land. I think I'll do that. So I'm going to go ahead and stop there. We've already taken care of the Nemesis. So I'm going to pick up a Fertile Soil. I think I'll take a middle one. And add that into one of those Cursed Land cards. Okay. All right, and then we'll set the, the field again. There's that Cursed Lands, and now it's time to shuffle. So, so far I've played a few games of this, learning it and that, and I won, I think, two, and I think I lost one. So we'll see how this one turns out if I go back down to 50%, or if I move into the 75 percentile range out of for victories um, but i haven't fought any hard enemy or any of the hard nemesis yet and the, i did try playing one with the just the original core game and that was the one that i got crushed i absolutely got crushed so no leader and all that so that was a little bit more difficult and challenging all right let's see where we're at here so there's my second cursed lands fertile soil this is going to be a good round Got some good purchasing power already. All right, so that's my third. We're going to go ahead and take care of the nemesis. So he's going to take this one. Ugh. And that comes out. And then goes into my turn. I think I'm not going to push at this point. So I got one, two, three, four, five. So I could buy the lurcher. And he, he would negate one of those cursed lands so i could drop him on there finishing off that card but also nullifying one of those cursed lands and that that's a big it's a big thing to do otherwise i do have a couple of other good cards out but i think i'm going to do that i think it's it is important to help start nullifying some of these cursed lands where i'm able to so i'm going to do that that will take care of that i'll reveal a new card Okay, we got another one of those guys. And then we'll set the field again. Okay, I got my Oak Titan. There's my first, second, and third. All right, we will advance this. That's going to take this one here. New one comes out. 
And I have one, two, three, or two plus that because that one cancels out. But I have three buy buying power. So I could pick that up or I could push. I think I'm going to push this time and try my luck again. So did I get lucky? I did. I did. Okay, so I'm up to four. It would be really nice to have him out there because then I could purchase this and put that in there, unlocking that ritual there, which would be great. And it would also unlock hers. That's on his card. Uh, yeah, I'll push again. Come on. Yes, I got it. All right. So I'll stop there. That's going to give me one, two, three, four. I don't have any veil stuff yet as I haven't unlocked this at this point. So I am going to spend the three to pick up this one here. And I will sleeve that into there. And I have one remaining, which isn't going to do me any good. So that'll end my turn there. Okay. All right, so setting the field, I've got one. There's my first, second, and third cursed land. Moving over, he's going to take A1. I'll bring this one out. That gives me three purchasing power. And that one's on deck, so that's not going to necessarily help me too much. Let's push. That at least gets him out of there. I think I'm just going to buy a fertile soil. So let's just do one from the top. That's this one here. Okay, I'll take care of that. I'll do this. All right, so, ooh, nice. I got that. There's my first, second, big rounds, and third. Okay, so. We'll advance his. He's going to take a level one veil card, so he's going to take this one here. And then we'll replenish. And then, then it moves into my turn. So first off, I do have one victory point, so I'll add that. And then we have this card here. So first off, on this top ritual, it requires a card in here, or an advancement that has a victory point. This one does, so it's going to unlock that, so I'll get a sun and an animal and then with this one to unlock it it requires a helmet which this guy has which is going to give me a mana and another helmet um, now one important thing to point out with these is that you are not able to use the rewards you receive from one ritual to pay for the reward or to pay another ritual that's on this card so the only reason i was able to trigger both of these is because both of the advancements have those symbols on them already and are not unlocked because of that so that gives me two sun and an animal to spend uh, i can i can purchase this one here and looks like that's it for the moment so with that one it says i may spend one curse and a victory point to reserve one advancement i don't necessarily want to do that but it is good to purchase these. It's a free victory points, so I'll go ahead and do that. And from there, then, I will also now purchase advancements. I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points to spend. Not quite enough for a level three yet, but let's see here. I think I'll pick up this one here. And... Which other? Then I have three points left to spend. So I think I will just buy a fertile soil. I'll get one on the bottom. Okay, then I'll sleeve these. And I'll do one in the blank. And then I'll just do this one in with this fertile soil. All right. So that takes care of that. And then we'll refill these. Another radiant plexus. Okay, then let's set the field again. So that'll cancel that out. There's that. 
There's my first, second. This one cancels that out. There's the third. Okay. So with that one, then we'll advance our nemesis. He's going to take a level three. And we get another level three out. Now with the with my Titan, he does also cancel my curse on one card, all the curses on one card, so I don't have to take a curse for that, so that's good. And then I only have one four or one four spirit one to purchase, which is not going to be enough for any of that. But I do have one, two, three, four, five, six buying power, so I think I will pick up this guy here and add him into this blank section here. Okay. So that'll take care of that. Let's add a new one out and reset our fields. Okay, there's my last cursed land. I think I'm going to push it at this point because I only have one purchasing power anyways, but let's go ahead and handle the nemesis first. So he's going to take advancement two on the far end here. So I, I purchased that one just in time. Otherwise, he would have gotten that better one that I was hoping to get. And, and then I am going to push forward here. Put this on top. And let's push one and see what we get. Okay, so I got that one. That would give me another one. Do I push again? Or do I start next turn with that and just buy a fertile soil? I think I'll do that this time. I, I think I will not push my luck and I'll just buy a fertile soil. Um, let's do let's do one on the top. I'll add that in here. And that'll take care of that round. All right, starting my next prep phase, I have that. Oh, what well, could have done it, but that's all right. There's my first, second, and there's the third. Okay. So then we're going to move forward. He's going to take this one here. Ugh, that was a bad one. Three points. And then we go into my turn. I have the two sons and the animal. Then I get another animal here. So that gives me four that I could use now. So I could get the observatory. I get the hunter's hall. So this one says, if you spoil, you may sacrifice this card to take another turn after this one. Okay, that's not too bad. Or this one gives me two victory points, and I get to look at the top card of the level one Vale deck, and I may buy that card for free or put it back. So I think I'll do that, because that pretty much almost guarantees me that I'm going to get three, and that's a higher cost card anyways. So I get to look at a level one, and I can get it for free, so I definitely want to do this. And it says if you have at least four curses, you gain four mana. I do not, so... I won't get that, but that's still better. I got an extra point versus buying that other one, so that's good. And then once I'm done with that, then I get one victory points. And then we're let's move into purchasing. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six purchasing power. I've not been able to crack that level three just yet, but I get another lurcher. So I'll go ahead and do that. That gives me another cursed land out of the way. So that's good. And that's it for that turn. All right, moving on. We have our first, our second, but it's canceled out from the Lurcher. Cancel that one out, so now I'm back down to zero. This is going to be a good one. There's one. Two and back to mixing. So this is this is gonna be a good round. I'm gonna get a good card here. Alright. And now the nemesis's uh 
ability is going to be activated now because we're at level, our, uh, round 11 at this point. So anytime his card comes up after this, then it's going to trigger once it's in the field. All right, so that cancels that one out. So I'm still at two. There's the third. Okay, so then we're going to advance his. He's going to take the Veil vale card, level one Veil vale card from there. Refilling that, and that's not a bad card for him to take. And he also gets a victory point. Then moving into my turn, I have... I first, I cancel out one of the curses, so I do have to take one. And I get one victory point there. I have not met the ritual requirements for that one yet, so I don't get that. But I do get one for that, so I'll take one there. I do have... I have two of those, which I can pick up this one here, so I might as well do that. And this one says, it gives me one victory point, and it's, if you have not pushed yet, and you have at least six curses, spend one and gain a, a tree. So I, I do not have six curses yet, but it is worth one victory point, so I will definitely take that. Every little bit helps. Finally, let's go ahead and get some purchasing in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on purchasing power. I have an 8 here, which would be really good to get. And let's see what else we got. Um, what's on this card? Just that. So if I could get that one on one of, or a different one of those on a different card, that'd be great. Uh, that one's good too, but it also gives me a spoil. I don't know if I want to increase those just yet. So let's go ahead and buy this one here. This is a really good one. This is uh, level three, gives me five buying power. So that's really good. I'm going to go ahead and put that in a blank one here. And then I still have three to buy. Well, I think I'll just get the scout. And I'll put him in with this one here. All right. So that'll take care of the purchasing. And then we're on to the next turn. Okay, so I've got one so far. There's that good one again. There's my second. And the third. So it's going to be the nemesis. Let's see, I have one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got one left in there, and I have two cards remaining. I don't know. I've got some good stuff out there right now, so I don't think I need. I want to push just yet. So let's handle his stuff first. So he is going to get this level two card here. I do have to refill my level three. And then he gets one victory point. Now, he won't get his stuff yet because he's still on deck. He'll get that next turn when he gets into the field. And uh, one other thing I do want to point out with hit, with any type of nemesis, there's no way to cancel their ability. Some of the cards will say that you can cancel a card or discard a card, and they cannot be canceled. So his ability is always going to come into play, and his card will always come into play. So that takes care of that. Then we'll move into my turn itself. So again, I've got my two sun and two claws. So I'm back. I still got four to purchase stuff with. Well, I do have two level one cards that I could use to do that. And those are pretty good. Let's see what this one does. This one I can discard if I do not have any reserved advancements. I may reserve one. And then the other one is when bought. You may spend three to look at the top advancement of a level one deck. And you may buy that advancement for free or put it back. So it would be great if it's a, a, a good advancement. It's not so great if it's not. But uh, there's nothing else I can really buy at this point that's real good. Well, I no, no can't get that yet. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'll buy those two.
And then I'll refill these. That's the most I can buy. And then I do get that one victory point there. And then I get to spend one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven for purchasing power. Well, let's do this one here. So that's seven. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's all of them that I have. So I'll slide that in here. And I just need to have a tree or a green symbol in there and that'll unlock this which will give me four more victory points but also turn this into a cursed card so i want to have a card that's going to cancel that effect if possible all right so then we'll reveal a new card and then the next turn so nemesis card comes out there's another cursed lands and let's keep going here need a tree in here somewhere to be able to take care of that problem all right so there all right that works out so that brings me back down to one this one doesn't have one on it because of the tree canceling it out that's good so that cancels that that's my this is my second one now Oof, it's gonna be a good round there's my third. Okay. Next, we'll handle his stuff. So he's going to take this one here. He gets a victory point. And then his ability finally triggers, which is going to give him one victory point from the pile. And he also gets one from the box. So I have a stash up here for those. So that helps him out. And that is it for him. So then it's into my turn. I'm not going to push at this point because I think I got a good amount of stuff here to help me out. I do have my Titan to cancel out that curse, so I won't get a curse token. I only have one green, so I won't be able to buy a Val card this turn. And I don't have any victory points from this, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have to replenish this as well. Okay. So 12 for purchasing power and yeah, I think I'll buy this one that's six and I think I'll pick up this one here so that'll be nine I didn't spend all of it but it's okay oh there's a good one I definitely want to grab that if I am able to and then I gotta sleeve these so you know and put the tiger in a blank one because he's got a lot of requirements so I'm gonna have to work on him and then I'll drop this one in here. That'll cancel out that cursed land. It is two points or two curses on me, but that's okay. All right. Uh, moving on, we are going into round 14. So we should be closing in on, on the end here, hopefully. Otherwise, I'm not going to be doing too good here. So that's my first curse. There's my second. This might not be such a good round. Oh, well, there we go. And I haven't unlocked that yet. There's my third. Okay. And how many have I had out so far here? There's one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven. So I still got a couple in there, so I don't know if I want to push at this point. So I think I'm going to stop there. Let's handle his stuff. So he gets a level one veil. He gets, ah, uh, no, that's the one I wanted. He gets that, and he will get a victory points. Okay, then it's going into my turn. So first off, I have not unlocked that yet. So I won't get that, and I haven't unlocked that ritual yet either. So it looks like I just have a, a bear claw at this point. So that's not going to be enough to purchase a Val card. So then I do get some victory points here. I get one for that one. And then for purchasing, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I'll buy this one for six. And... 
I guess I'll just buy another fertile soil for now because I don't think there's anything else I really want at the moment. So I'm going to buy a bottom one. I'll refill this. And I'll put these in. So I'll put this one in here. And then, let's see. Go ahead and drop this one in here. All right. So that takes care of that round. And moving on. There's a curse. That one cancels out. There's my second curse. Okay, let's shuffle these up. So one more. What's he taking this time? He's taking that one. And a level one, okay. Okay, let's see what we get here. Fertile soil. This one cancels out. And that. So there's one, two. That's the third. So that'll stop there. And then we'll handle his stuff. So he gets a victory point. He gets a level one veil there. And this advancement here. And then we've got a level three. Let's see, one played, gain one from the box for each, okay. So that one's pretty good. That would be a great one for this. So I think I'll get that. All right, so first I get three curses. Did That was a painful one. I, shame I wouldn't have gotten the, uh, my guy from that one. I do get one victory point for that one. And then for purchasing, well, first off, I have my three there. And I get one more there. So I can pick up a couple of things. I've got a bear in that, two suns. No, don't have enough for that. So it looks like I can just get one card at this point. So it's either, if you have at least four, I can spend one to gain a sun. So that actually might be good. Otherwise, I can, if one bought, you may spend one to discard your on deck card, which I cannot discard them. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll pick up this guy here. It says if I have at least four, I can spend one to gain a sun. So that'll cancel out those. I have that would give me three suns, which is not enough to purchase anything at the moment, but at least I was able to get one rid of one of my curses. All right, and then finally, um, on to buying. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ugh, it's just short. Be, would have been nice to get her. Let me make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. No question about it. Ah, oh, man. So for eight, I guess I'll get this one for the victory points because it's not going to, nothing else is going to help me there. So I'm going to do that. And then I'll refill. So let's see what we get. Oh, we got another one of those. Go ahead and clear this, and then he's going to come out, have that one, have that, so that cancels that out, so there, we just have one right now, there's two, and nope, not yet, there's three, okay, because he cancels that out, so there's two, No, wait a minute. Did I overdo it? Nope. That cancels that out. So I have one, two, and three. Yep, I'm good. All right, so I'm moving over. Veil two. That's going to take this one here. Replenishing that. He gets a token there. He gets another one. And then one from the supply. Okay. 
then we'll go into let's get victory points first so I get one here and he is going to cancel out this card here for the curse so I don't pick up any new curses that's good so I get one victory point two three three more for that so we're getting close here and then As far as I have one tree here or one one green there, a bear claw. I haven't unlocked his ability yet. So I have a tree and a bear claw, which nothing meets those requirements yet, so I can't do anything there. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Ooh, that was coming up kind of close on there. Uh, so that would have been nice. Okay, so I'll pick up this one here. I think that's the only one I'm going to purchase at this point. I don't necessarily want to do anything else, so I'll go ahead and do that and discard the rest of this. Replenish that. And then set our field again. So I got that. Those. Shuffle these up. I'm getting down to victory points, so another round or two I think will be it. Let's see what we got. All right, so he cancels that one out. And there's one. There's two. He cancels that. There's the third one. All right, so then we'll advance. He's going to get a victory point. He'll also gain both of these. And then we'll replenish. We're out of level one, so now it's on to level two cards. He does cancel out the curse, so I won't gain that. And I've only got one green, so it's not going to be enough to do anything there, but I do get a victory points. So then it's just on to purchasing. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for purchasing power. And there's not a whole bunch that's good here. I will get this one here. And I guess I'll buy a fertile soil. So I'll go ahead and put the fertile soil in here. And then I'll drop this one in here. And that'll cancel out that one. Okay. Then we'll replenish. So another Chimera. All right, so there's my first, second. I haven't fulfilled that yet, so I don't get that. This one cancels that out. And the third. All right, so then we'll advance. He gets his the this one here for Val 2. He gets this one for 3, and he gets a victory point for that. Okay. Okay, there's that, and that one. Okay, so that takes care of his turn. I'm definitely not going to push my luck there. So first off, let's do... I get two more curses for that. And then let's move into this. So I get two suns and a bear claw. I have not met the requirements of that yet. I have another bear claw there, so it's two and two. And that's it for the moment. So two suns and two bear claws. I have one sun and one bear claw up there. 
So I'll go ahead and pick up this. So this says harvest. If you have at least four, I can spend four curses. I can spend one and I'll gain a green for that. So I'll do that. And then for my second one, I'll purchase this here. And this is one bot. I can reserve one advancement. So I'll do that. I'll reserve this one here and add a new one out. It's a level three. So then I get my victory points. So I got one. So far, there's two, three, just three victory points. That is enough to trigger the end of the game. So this will be the final round. And then buying, purchasing power, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So still not enough for that guy. So then it's just points at this for this. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up this one. And I will pick up this one. Okay, so... Let's see, where do I want to put these now? So I'll go ahead and drop her in here. And then go ahead and put him in here. So it's not going to necessarily matter. Okay, so that will trigger the end of the game as we're out of victory points. So then we'll move into totaling up those points. So I'll start with the nemesis first and we'll see where he sits. So he's got four, five, ten. 12, there's 15, 16, 17 points, and then finally all of his advancements, so 19, 22, 23, 26, 27, 30, 31, 33, 36, 37, 37 points. So he didn't do too good this, this time. I got lucky with the advancements that he took. A lot of them didn't have any points on him. There was a couple that had some good points, but overall not real good. So then over to me. First off, I have four curses. So let's go ahead and eliminate those. And I got four victory points there. So that'll take care of those. And then this card doesn't count because I had it in reserve, but not as a purchase. So I have five, nine points there. I had a lot of Veil cards. Here's 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, and 21. So pretty good there. And then finally, let's see on these. So 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 20, 29, 30, 32, 35, 38, 39, 40, 42, 43. So even there, it was a close game at 37, the nemesis to 43 for me. So not too much farther and a couple more rounds and that would have definitely evened the playing field up quite a bit. Actually, if we would have gone one more round, he would have gotten this middle card here, which is worth two points. He would have picked up two more victory points plus the two he would have gotten as he was going to be the next one out. And then he was also going to take the level two veil here. That's a six more points. So that would have been that would have been game right there, unless I would have had a big round as well. That would have been a huge shift in points. So I was able to just barely creep by and pull off a victory. 
So I hope you found this video helpful. As always, if you caught anything that I did wrong or have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section below. I love hearing from you and I love answering those questions. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. Leave me feedback on them. I do really appreciate it. I take into account everything you say to make the best possible videos. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other types of solo games that I have up in the back or just games in general that you'd like to see playthroughs of. I enjoy doing this and it's a lot of fun and it's cool seeing if I can pull this off on camera or not. Until next time, I'll see you later.